welcome my friends to another episode of the Gothic Witch's Kitchen. <laughs> Today, I admit, I had no real plan. <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to make because we already know what we're doing for dinner tonight and it's something I've already made for the show so there's no sense in filming that. So I thought, what do I have in my freaking cabinet? I have pudding. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to make a pudding pie for my husband. Now, y'all know how to make pudding and you know how to make pudding pie. All you have to do is put a little less milk in the box mix, stir that shit up and wait for it to set. That's not what we're going to be making. What we're going to be making is a crust for this pie. And we're going to be making it out of shortbread. Mm, I love shortbread. Lots of butter. Mm. I thought about making shortbread cookies, but wish I'd got time for that. I don't feel like rolling out cookies and shit today. I just don't. So a pie is the greatest thing that we can freaking do. Now, I've never made a shortbread pie crust. So let's hear hoping that I don't fail. <laughs> I do fail sometimes, as we all. Okay, let's get started. Now, this is such a quick and easy crust. This is going to be silly embarrassing. But since I've never done it, who knows? I might fuck it up. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take one cup of that's two sticks of butter. Now, the recipe actually calls for salted butter. I don't ever use salted butter. I use unsalted sweet cream. So I'll just put a little salt in there for flavor. About a quarter of a teaspoon. I've already got my oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Get in there. Mm. This is really it's just embarrassing. It's so easy. I think getting the butter out is the hardest part. So far. Just leave it to me. I'll find a way to mess up. Okay, now that we've got two sticks of butter in there, so on top of this, but <laughs> I said on top. <laughs> We're all adults here. Actually, I'm not. I'm pretty immature. Okay, we're going to do two cups of all-purpose flour. Make sure it's all-purpose. Don't, don't use self-rising. Just don't. If you're going to learn how to cook, do it right. Don't cheat. One. <laughs> mm, I still love counting, but it's not as fun when I've only got two things to do. Two. <laughs> oh, that was kind of disappointing because I don't have more to count. Okay, on top of this, there we go again, naughty little witch, we're going to do a half a cup of confectioner sugar. That's powdered sugar to us freaking southern people right there. Oh my god, this is so stupid easy. Three ingredients, well, okay, four because I'm going to put a little dash of salt in here. You have to have a little salt to bring out the flavor. And then we're just going to sift this together. But if you have salted butter, this is a three ingredient crust. So it can't get more easy than that. Come on. Well, except for, I, well, I guess graham cracker crust is easy. That's freaking butter and graham crackers. But I think the shortbread crust will be great for something different. We're just going to mix all of this together. Ridiculous. Just continue kneading it until it's all brought together. You don't want any like dry bits of flour on the bottom. Look at that. And it smells so buttery. Now, the good thing about short crust is because it's a heavy dough as far as butter goes, you don't have to grease your pans. 
So I'm going to take my 9 inch pie pan. See if you can see this. Yeah. And I'm going to slap this bitch right in. See how clean that turned out? And I'm just going to start pressing. This is going to be, this is actually a lot of dough. This is more dough than I thought it would be. It made a lot. But I guess that's good. I'm going to start pressing it in. I'm going to use my knuckles and try to work from the center out because you want this to be even so it bakes evenly. And since this is going to be a pudding pie, you're going to have to blind bake this. You're going to have to pre-bake this. I've never done this. If it fucks up, who cares? My husband will eat anything. <laughs> he's, he's such a good guinea pig. Now, regular dough crusts, you do want to push up over the edge because they are going to shrink some when they bake. I don't know how this shortbread is going to react. I don't know if it's going to do the same as like a um, hot water pie crust or a uh, cold pie crust, but we'll see. Listen to me say things like hot water pie crust, like I've done that shit before. I haven't. I just watched a lot of Food Network back in the day. All right, I think that feels pretty even. That's ugly as fuck, but it's homemade, so who gives a shit? We're gonna put this in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes until it's golden brown. And we'll be back. Now it's time to take this bitch out. bottom and make sure the bottom looks cooked. Yeah, I think the bottom's cooked enough. Now, mm, so delicious. Now I did go in uh, while it was cooking and I had to put coals in the bottom because it had made a dome and you've got to be able to let that air out. And I will say that this was supposed to be 15 minutes to cook. Uh, no. Try 25. Now that may be because the dough is thick. If I would have like put some of the dough aside or whatever and made it a little thinner, I guess 15 minutes would do. But who? what are you going to do with a handful of dough? Seriously. Um, I don't have little tart pans or anything. So, But I think this looks pretty darn good. I hope it tastes good. I'm sure it does. So I figured I would go ahead and uh, do the filling. Why not? We're going to use... Move monkey. Ouch. We're going to use one and three quarter cup of milk, whole milk. And then we're just going to dump the shit in. And we're going to whisk it together. That'll stink and easy as that. Now. Because this is a cookie crust, I really don't know if there's going to be actual room in this pie crust. I tried to make room, but I mean, hell, if I can't fit it all in, that's okay. I'll just eat this pudding. It'll just be thick pudding, <laughs> but I'll still eat it. <laughs> now, as you know, I'm not a huge chocolate person, but Chocolate pudding is one of my weaknesses. Mm. It's so good. You're just gonna whisk the shit out of it. And I'm gonna see how this goes. I'm not real confident, I'll be honest. I am not real confident. And I don't know if it'll really be even. So I'm just gonna pour slowly. held it. I'm impressed. 
and we're just going to put this in the fridge and let it sit. Here's the pie, all finished and ready to serve. Mmm, doesn't that look delicious? <laughs> I can't wait to get into it because chocolate does go so well with shortbread. Mmm, my hubby's going to be super happy. <laughs> Yum. Thank you for joining me on another episode of the Gothic Witch's Kitchen. <laughs> As you see, the kitchen's dirty now. I've just prepared dinner, but that pie I put in the freezer so it'll finish setting up and keep the whipped cream nice and pretty. <laughs> I can't wait to eat it. Thank you for joining me. Give me a thumbs up. Click the notification bell down below and subscribe if you haven't. Share it with your friends. Everybody loves pie or cookies or chocolate or... Whatever, I've got something for everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Stay diabolical. Goodbye. Where the fuck is my sister? I swear to God, I'm always chasing that damn thing down. It better freaking me in here. No matter how I try to prepare for a show, I always forget shit. I'm just silly like that. Now how I'm at, you know, I can't fucking talk today. Now, god damn it.